Good morning. On this week's episode of Haste and Helping Hands, I'm going to talk to you about something that I've been working on for a while now. Oh, this is hard. I definitely don't have it on lockdown. One of the reasons that I talk about things here is because it helps me to stay accountable. It helps me to tell you what I'm going through. So I saw something on TikTok the other day. Um, somebody asked a question. Um, if you could give one habit to the world to make their lives better, what would it be? And it just really landed on me. I've already been working on this, um, but it's really great. And the habit is don't take things personally. Um, I would add to that, assume positive intent, um, because it goes along with thinking that if you are not taking things personally, you're assuming that that person who's not getting back to you, whether it's email, phone, or text, or in person, that they have stuff going on. Um, and while you're assuming the positive intent, it's important not to assign intention to what people are doing, because if you don't take things personally, you can live your life and not be wrapped up in figuring out what those three little dots that are blinking on the bottom of a text message mean. You can wait for the person to text back and whatever they say, take them at face value and assume that positive intent. Um, this is something I really struggled with for a while. I've definitely gotten better in the last couple of years. Um, and there are definitely times that I struggle with this. Uh, and I think a lot about that, uh, especially yesterday. Um, my daughter said to me, um, we were about to go for our, our walk run that we do in the morning. And um, I said, okay, let's run. So we ran. And then um, we get to the next section where we're going to run because it's a wide space um, and it's safe to, to run. And she said, I don't want to run. I said, okay. And she said, you're listening to me. And I immediately got flooded with, oh my gosh, so I usually don't listen to her. And I was like, wait, I'm missing a great moment. She's literally telling me, you're listening to me. And that is the thing that I want more than anything is for people to feel heard and seen around me. So if I had gotten wrapped up in this whole notion of what what is she thinking? And like, have I not done that before? Is that why she's saying that? And blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 just stop. Assume positive intent. She's telling you that you're listening to her and she likes that. And that's it. And one of the things that the person in the TikTok went on to say that I really liked, which is that if someone has a problem with you, it is their responsibility to own that with you. So you sitting there and making all these assignations about what might be going on for somebody when they don't respond, that's not healthy and the best thing to do is to not take it personally and i know that's hard because we have all these things in our head that tell us okay well they didn't respond back because they don't care about me or they didn't respond back because this is all in my head and many years ago and by many i mean probably five five years ago there was a time that if someone didn't return return a text i would say okay they're really mad at me and I used to do this ridiculous thing where I would tell people, okay, I'm checking in with you, are we okay? I have now adopted that to, how are you? I literally send a text message to someone saying, how are you? And I've done that a few times and the conversations that have come out have been really great. And it all stemmed from my original unhealthy habit of saying, I'm checking in, are we okay, are you mad? And it's just, it's exhausting to carry that kind of weight. So I fully invite you to let it go. And don't take things personally. The mantra I've been saying to myself um, is don't take thing, thing, it's not personal, don't take it that way. And what's helpful for me is that it's not personal. That's, that's the phrase. And then don't take it that way is an instruction to myself. And then the other side of that is assume positive intent. Assume they're busy with their new business. Assume they're busy with their kid. Assume they're busy with their family. Assume they're busy with work. And I know we're normally told not to make assumptions, but in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and make an exception and tell you to do the same thing. So again, it's not personal. Don't take it that way. Give yourself that gift. So today, if you're looking I think for me, sometimes it's when you don't get a slack back right away, especially working from home, the, the virtual 
necessity of like, I need an answer right now. It's like, it doesn't happen that way, right? Because people are doing other things. They're really busy. So I think when you don't get that slack back, go, okay, well, I'm going to move on to something else. And then when they respond to you, it'll be like, okay, I have an answer now. I can, I can move forward. And sometimes things aren't dependent. Sometimes you can keep moving even though you've asked a question. So again, my message for the week, and I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to post my YouTube link in a minute. I hope you'll subscribe. This is a weekly message that I do to motivate you, inspire you, and frustrate you. My message for this week is it's not personal. Don't take it that way. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jen Haston, and this has been Haston Helping Hands.